Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and I'm standing in front of a 138 Chevelle here guys. 67 model, there's a 454 under the hood. She is beautiful. Now we're gonna put it up on the lift so you can see just how nice the bottom side is. We're gonna pop the hood, take a look at that 454. We're gonna look at the red interior. We're gonna look inside the trunk. We will show you everything you wanna see so you can make a great decision on your Chevelle investment. So come on up and let's fire this big block up now. So look at this beauty, man. That red paint is slick as can be. The grill's in great shape. The chrome on the bumper looks awesome. That Chevelle emblem is beautiful. It's got the big block hood on it, of course. She is one, a real 138 car. It is smooth as can be, guys. Now we got one little ding in the fender here. The paint isn't broken, just a tiny little dent. All the trim around the windshield looks good. The door fits nice. It's got a great looking set of wheels and tires on it. Rocker molding looks good. I love the little white stripe going down the side. The chrome on the vent window is in good shape. It does look like it's original. The drip rail um, also looks good. Door handle looks like it's new. You see how smooth that door opened up? And look at those door lips. Aren't they beautiful? Paint work here looks good. Rubber's in good shape. Door panel's in beautiful shape. Armrest looks good. Door handles all look great. The carpeting's in good shape. And looky there, she's a four speed. It's got the center console in there too, man. That is cool. We got seat belts in the front and it looks like we got seat belts in the rear too. The upholstery on the seats looks like it's brand spanking new and that back seat doesn't look like it was ever sat in. Package tray looks good, headliner looks great. And this is what I really love. Look at that wood steering wheel, man, I love it. It's got the tack mounted to the steering column there. That is a tilt column also. We've got the chrome on the dash looking great, the lens on the gauge looking good, all the knobs look good, the dash pad looks great. It's an amazing ride, guys. Look down that nice straight quarter panel. Body work on the car is phenomenal. And this red paint is popping. It is bright. We got a beautiful chrome back here. All the chrome around the tail lights looks good. The tail panel looks good. The SS emblem looks great. And 50-50 chance I get it wrong every time. Look at that. And we got three more keys to go. Let's see what this does. Looky there, only took five tries. Look inside the trunk here, trunk pan's in good shape. Backsides of the quarters are nice and clean. Wheel houses look good. Paint work on the bottom side of the deck lid also looks good. All the gutters here around the uh, trunk opening are in good shape. When you look down the side of the car, she's nice and straight. Beautiful paint work, beautiful body work on this car. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're not consignment dealers. That means we own this car. We've got about 100, and, actually we have 235 cars in stock right now, and we own every one of those cars. We bring in about 40 new cars every month, and I'm involved in buying every one of them. So what that means to you is you're getting my 35 plus years of experience in the muscle car industry, helping you pick out your dream car. All right, guys, this is the Chevelle here. Unfortunately, it's Michigan. It is spring, so we're getting close to nice weather, but uh, it is still raining out there. There might still be some salt on the roads. To be perfectly frank, this is too nice of a car. It's just not worth it. Um, but that doesn't mean we can't show you what we can with it in here in the building until it does warm up out. So uh, this thing, first thing that I really noticed about this car is it's got really snappy throttle response. I mean, in the accelerator pedal, all the pedals just feel nice and tight. Nothing feels loose. I, that's a big thing for me. I do like the steering wheel in this car, the wood grain, very simple, elegant wood grain steering wheel. It does have the tilt column on it, does have an aftermarket tack, does work. I'd like to point out we have functional oil pressure, water temperature, battery gauge, and a fuel gauge. All that stuff appears to be working. 
can see we got working lights there, working lights there. Interior lights come on just fine. We do have an aftermarket radio in this car. It does indeed work. It actually has got, looks like some aftermarket speakers in the back. It certainly sounds like it does. Um, outside of all of that stuff, we do have just manual windows in the car, which is just, I mean, it's a, it's a Chevelle. It should have just that. That's nothing wrong with that. Pad looks like it's in excellent shape. Runs well. I mean, there's not too much more to say about it outside of actually getting out to drive it. Does have, looks like a four speed in the thing. Um, I don't know, I can't wait to get it up on the hoist and really see what we're looking at here because the motor, it runs very, very well. So stay tuned. Okay guys, this is the underside of that 1967 Chevelle you just saw me in. Um, starting from the back forward, you can see we do have a brand new tank in the thing. Looks like we've got a relatively recent exhaust addition as well. Um, something else I always like to point out is the drop downs feel pretty solid on this. It doesn't look like there's any rod or anything like that going on. Uh, both sides are like that. Moving forward to that, looks like it does have a relatively recently new shocks on it. They are air shocks. Looks like the springs are uh, relatively recent additions. Uh, same thing with the, uh, your brake lines. We do have drum brakes on either side here. And of course, part of our thing here, we take them apart, make sure that everything is put together correctly on them. Uh, U-joints feel good on this. And of course, that's something we always check out. Looks like the front to back brake line here looks like it's brand new, along with the fuel line over here, at least uh, relatively recently uh, redone on the car, definitely not original. Looks like the uh, parking brake appears to be hooked up on this car as well. Moving forward of all of that, the floorboards on this look like they're all original. It looks like all the original uh, panels, or I should say all like the original stamping and stuff like that, looks like it's all still there uh, at the back. Moving forward here, still looks to be the same. Uh, so your front U-joint feels good too. Something else I'd like to point out, this is a true dual exhaust system. There's no H-pipe here. It's just straight, straight out the back. Um, we do have a little bit of patchwork going on here and here in the tow board up here, right where it meets the tow board. Um, so two minor patches put in uh, here and here uh, in the front of the floorboards, but uh, it, it is all looks to be welded in. No uh, sheet metal screws or any of that kind of ghetto stuff going on. Um, we do have a Muncie four-speed transmission here. This car being 67, this is a slightly earlier transmission. Uh, by casting number, I can tell you it's 64 or 65 uh, vintage. So relatively period correct, but a little bit earlier. And we do have the GM bell housing as well. Um, one upgrade this car does have, it has the jet coated full length headers on it as well. It looks about like a three inch uh, outlet on it. Now, it does look like it gets sucked down to about a two and a half on the exhaust. If you really wanted to uncork this thing, you could uh, have a little bit fatter exhaust put on it if you wanted, but it looks like the exhaust is relatively new, no reason to do so. Moving forward of all of that, looks like the front end has been done of recently. Um, of course, you know, we always, fully check them out. We give them like the full shakedown, make sure that everything is fine, but it looks to be all new from what I'm seeing here. And of course, we've got a digital alignment rack if they ever need anything once we put new parts on it. But uh, looks like the uh, Pitman arm looks to be new. The idler arm definitely looks to be relatively recent. Um, both the inner and uh, outer tie rod ends look nice. Looks like new dust shields here on the disc brakes that's in the front. These are manual brakes, by the way, on this thing, guys. Um, you see here, shocks look like they're in good shape. Uh, looks like a brand new upper ball joint on both sides. Same thing with the lowers. Um, and of course, we check out the front brakes as well when we go to do our brake inspection. If I'm not mistaken, this does look to be a upgraded sway bar on this car. This looks to be a little bit on the fat side for something that would be stock. Um, this is the underside of our uh, 454 that I'm gonna get to in just a second. And uh, even this, I'd like to, while I'm here, I'm gonna point out that it doesn't ever look like there's ever been a jack on this either. That's also a really popular spot to jack on these, which, you know, not, not you're necessarily wrong in doing so, but uh, that looks a lot better than most of them. It looks like, uh, looks like somebody actually smoothed that thing. So uh, let's take a look at wheels and tires. Okay guys, for rolling stock, we have BF Goodrich radial TAs. Uh, the size on this is a 235-60 R15 on like the stock looking rally wheel. Now all of this stuff looks like it's gonna be uh, Probably all new stuff on here. I don't. It would be really hard for me to believe that the original stuff looks this good after uh, this many miles and this many years. Let's go check out the rear. All right, guys, back here we have a little bit more meat. Uh, 255, 60 R15. So that's going to be a slightly bigger tire, a little, little bit fatter, just a little bit taller. And uh, of course, we have the good-looking uh, rallies and uh, beauty caps with center, center cap as well, or rallies with the uh, beauty ring and center cap as well back here. Um, let's go check out the big block. Okay guys, this is what makes the noise here. This is a, th uh, a 454 uh, big block Chevy. The uh, casting date on this is uh, December 8th, if I'm not mistaken, 1971. Um, the suffix code comes up right around that era, a little bit later, of course, being like 73, 74, 75, somewhere in that uh, range. Um, I do believe that it's had a couple of upgrades since then. Um, 
I don't believe this to be the original intake manifold for this engine. It looks to be a little more period correct, correct to the car. Um, on top of the intake manifold, we have a Holley 770 uh, CFM four barrel. That is a 4150 model carburetor. It does have uh, vacuum secondary, straight boosters, and an electric choke, all of which is properly hooked up. Something else I'd like to point out here is it looks like all the uh, heater hoses look like they have been replaced at one point. Nice looking fuel line on it. Uh, does have a set of uh, nicer uh, Taylor uh, spark plug wires on it. We do have, uh, looks like power steering on this car as well with dual, uh, the dual belt pulley setup. Um, looks like the alternator looks to be relatively fresh. Pretty nice paint job on the motor. Factory type of valve covers on it. Uh, if I didn't already mention it, we have the HEI distributor here in the back. Um, you, once again, you can see these big, massive primary uh, uh, headers on this thing, uh, hooker headers on this with the jet coat. Uh, I'd like to also point out, looks like the car has had a recent alignment on it as well. Um, I mentioned underneath it has manual brakes. You can see it looks like it's a relatively fresh master cylinder on this thing as well. Firewall looks like it's in good shape. Inner fenders look like they're nice. We do have a look, like it looks like an upgraded uh, catch can here for a radiator overflow. Um, looks like relatively recent hoses on it. And uh, this thing is even holding, at least uh, just a couple minutes ago, I saw that this thing was even holding fuel pressure for quite some time, which means that the seals on the fuel pump are good. Um, outside of that, we do have, looks like a can and air filter inside of it, modern battery. Um, I think that just about sums it up. And something else I'd like to point out too, I completely spaced it when I was underneath the car. I did just get zapped by an MSD distributor today, so a little bit spacey. There is a, for the GM 12 bolt uh, rear end that's underneath this car, it is a 331 to one gear ratio. It is indeed posi. And uh, the 331 gear ratio will put this car at a very cruisable, you know, RPM range. You can jump this up on the freeway with no problems, and you don't have to worry about over revving your motor, any of that stuff. So that would make this car overall a pretty nice cruiser. As you saw in the video, it's got nice snappy throttle response. Um, I mean, outside of that, I'd, I'd say this car is pretty much ready to roll. If you'd like to have this little joyrider parked in your driveway, make sure to call Tom at the number below and let Vanguard Motorsports park this Chevelle in your driveway.